Welcome to part two of my Mexico vlog. I hope you've enjoyed part one. If you haven't seen part one, I'll put the link in the description box. Hello, good morning. Um, the weather's bad today. It's kind of like humid and cloudy. You can't really see it. It's it was raining this morning. It's been a little bit stormy. So we are just gonna go to Market 28 with Ella and Doug and do maybe a little bit of shopping. It's really good because our hotel, I've booked all the cabs and everything for us. Getting a cab here is really, really easy anyway. But I'm just saying this in the instance that someone else is curious for going. So we probably only wanna spend an hour there, hour and a half, um, and they will wait for us for up to two hours. And then if it goes over two hours, their charge so it's basically just the cab price and we get a cab there and back last year when we went we got a cab there and then found our own cab back uber is not allowed here and everyone's advised us against getting in ubers and not downloading the uber app because if you're caught in an uber or the uber driver gets pulled over you just have to basically like get out um so only green and white taxis but getting a taxi is been so far really really easy here and felt really really safe i didn't bring my jacket with me and it's raining but it should be fine it's like warm rain and we're hoping that the storm it it stormed a bit yesterday we're hoping that it storms today and clears it up and then it should be sunny from here on out am i remembering the market last year um market 28 specifically it was really good i really like haggling and shopping but if you don't like haggling it maybe isn't the place for you because it's quite pushy and it's quite the cultural custom to haggle So we're back from the market. We only spent like an hour and a half there. We went to market 28. I can show you what I got. It was 80 US dollars for a taxi like there and back. And then he waited for two hours. That was gonna be free. And then after two hours he would charge. I think cabs here are like fairly expensive cause it's like a 20 minute cab ride. But that kind of lines up with everything else we spent and what we spent last time we went. And then once you get to the market, it's like fairly cheap. It's like laid out in a square and there's like several different car parks. You just have to remember which car park you went to. That can be a little bit confusing. We went at like 9.30, so we got there just before 10. It wasn't that busy. Um, the weather's been quite bad today. It's been really stormy and rainy. So it was raining when we got there. So yeah, it was fairly empty. And there's a really nice area where you can eat food and stuff in the middle. But we didn't get food this time because we just had breakfast. Last year we went and we had some absolutely amazing tacos and beers and it was really cheap. So if you're going, I would recommend eating there. I think if you are the kind of person that finds it difficult to say like no or be kind of abrupt with people, you might not enjoy the market because it's very hustle and bustle and the vendors can be very pushy. You'll probably see that in the reviews if you look on TripAdvisor. You will get asked if you wanna have like free shots of tequila or go into the jewelry stores at the beginning for a free map. You, do, you don't need a map. There is Market 23 and that seems to be more food and drink based and kind of like more of a like farmer's market type thing. So you can get a lot of local food and like dried fruit and veg as well as like meat and stuff but we didn't go to that one because it didn't seem as gifty and market 28 you have to be quite prepared to haggle like it's the custom there so if that's something that you're not comfortable with i wouldn't recommend it you might just be better off going to like a souvenir shop you don't need very long there as well because once you've done a lap everything's quite samey i got some really nice jewelry from there last year let me show you so this one of my favorite jewelry pieces i got i got there last year i would really recommend downloading a currency converter on your phone and um, we have no service outside of the hotel so if you haven't got a sim i would download it before you go like one of these currency converters so you can quickly see what you're spending because we didn't check something in the last instance and almost got like really scammed for some chamoy and tahine that was going to be like 30 pounds and you can get it cheaper in the uk so yeah for haggling i i love stuff like that doug's not so keen on it I would go for like a quarter of the price or go even lower. And to be fair, everything I haggled on, it's the custom. The first guy actually said yes straight away and I feel like I should have offered lower. But I wanted to get some jewelry. I went back to the same place I got that cuff, but they didn't have 
any nice cuffs or bangles really that caught my eye and it was a little bit on the pricier side. I've got this little Jesus pendant. I have a big soft spot for Catholic jewellery. I think this was like £15, um, which to be honest, I'm not mad at because it's sterling silver. It just needs a little bit of a clean. That was the one I should have offered lower, but that was the first thing I bought. And then I wanted some little evil eye bracelets as well. These were really cheap. I got two of these for maybe eight pounds, I can't really remember. I couldn't decide. But yeah, it's it's very pushy. You will have a lot of people asking you just kind of either need to not say anything and just carry on walking. Remember they've got to like make money too. So just be prepared. I think it can be a little bit overwhelming, especially considering we were the first people there really. There wasn't that many tourists there. And then I got a bottle of chamoy to take home with me because I, have tahini at home that I bought last year. Um, you're probably better off buying a lot of this at the airport or like a shop that's not a market store that's not very touristy. I'm just gonna hope this doesn't explode when I get home. I'm gonna put it in a waterproof bag. There's so many gorgeous like plates, crockery, um, like beautiful traditional like knitted and felted stuff, loads of swimwear, loads of like beach clothes, loads of also like tat, like t-shirts, you know, like neon t-shirts they put under the UV, that kind of thing. And loads and loads of jewellery and like crystals. It's quite funny because obviously I have like a crystal business online and I think a lot of it is fake, but there's some crystals that are Mayan and like native to the region, but a lot of the bracelets and stuff, like the beaded bracelets were fake. If you get pulled into some of those jewellery shops, they say they have this like Mayan stone that changes color in the light and it does so it goes from like yellow to brown and like to pink and you can they'll take you out of the lights and out into the shop but we didn't do any of that this year because i wasn't going to buy any of it there's a lot of sterling silver as well doug wanted to buy a bracelet but they were charging like 50 pound for it and it was a really plain bracelet and that was like haggling down so i would really recommend like walking away when you can sometimes they'll ask to follow you and like do a better price or lots of people will be like everything's one dollar everything's one dollar and that's not the case if you're going to the market as well i would recommend pesos most people will ask for pesos instead of us dollars um just because they don't have to exchange it then and get charged i had it in my head that i was going to buy a bikini and maybe some linen trousers because i didn't actually bring any trousers with me which i'm really annoyed about now that it's a little bit cloudy it's not cold at all it's just a bit breezy but again it's like 40 50 quid for trousers there's a gift shop in our hotel that's really well stocked but it's really expensive because obviously they know that people aren't going to go off site so i think some of the gifts are not that expensive but they sell things like water and pharmacy stuff that's obviously like a bottle of evian is literally like 10 pounds we are provided with filtered water in all of our fridges and everything but if you want like branded stuff like pepto bismol or like diora like gatorade they sell like chips and lays and sabritas and stuff like that um, that's also a bit higher than you'd pay for like snacks anywhere else but it's because we're we're not in the hotel zone but we're kind of you can't leave quickly and taxis the hotel will put on taxis but it's like a private hire taxi they'll wait for you that kind of thing so like I said earlier it's a little bit more expensive there's not really any way that you can like leave the resort yourself if that makes sense so yeah the market is a really nice trip I would definitely recommend it especially if you're going to eat out I would recommend getting lunch there but you're probably not going to be any longer than two hours if you're not eating maybe like two and a half if you are we've just been in the room for like an hour just chilling I had a little bit of a tidy because we didn't get the room tidy today um because we've been in all morning I think we're gonna go get some lunch at the buffet just because we haven't been to that one for lunch yet and I think I'm gonna come back and read maybe go to the spa the weather's supposed to be better tomorrow. It was thundering and lightning last night. It was like very tropical storm vibes. The heavens just opened halfway through the day. So we have managed to get some tanning time in. But yeah, I'll check back in if I do anything interesting. It is 7 a.m. We are just about to go down to breakfast. We are going swimming with turtles today and to swim in some cenotes. We were supposed to go on Wednesday, but we rescheduled, so it is now Friday. It is a little bit jarring being up this early, but it's okay. I keep being bitten. I have so many bites, but it's my own fault for not wearing bug repellent, so I'm gonna take some bug repellent today because apparently the cenotes are very, very buggy. I let my hair dry last night, um, and this is what we're working with today. So I'm probably just gonna scrape it back. We have to meet Ella and Simon in T minus one minute. So I'm gonna go and I'll check in with you later. Hello. Yeah, now you've got 
got nothing to say, have you? <laughs> Hello, I'm oh, Charlotte's oh. best friend. Um, if you want any juicy details on her, contact no, me. No, don't, don't, don't oh, no. spill the tea. Thanks. I don't know how to close this. Oh, that's so fucking hot. There's no breeze. We just got here. Um, we are just getting changed into bikinis and putting things like insect repellent on because it's kind of jungly and it's very, very buggy. There's Ella. I don't know why I'm embarrassed about filming in another country where no one knows me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I feel like I don't want to get my camera wet or hot or sandy or cenote-ish. Facilities are quite basic, but there's lockers and things like that. Um, and then after this, we're moving on to swim with the turtles. And it's an outdoor cenote and it's private. I'll talk through costs and everything in a separate video. Yeah. It's very hot. But it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful here. Can't wait to show you. Let's go have a look. absolutely stunning here. I can't believe it. Is it time to go? Please. Absolutely stunning here. The water's so clear and so fresh. Um, I did get it out of my nose, so I'm a little bit worried. I've got brain-eating amoeba, but that's only in stagnant water. If you leave your feet long enough, you get little fishies nibbling on them. Look, they're coming in. Oh, it's so ticklish. That really beautiful. Just walking back to the minibus, it is 20 minutes to Turtles. Um, I was just trying to figure out where we are. We're in Tulum, or like near Tulum. It was about a two hour minibus ride from where we were staying in Cancun, but we're like slightly north of Cancun. I look dog shite rough, but let's talk about today's excursion. It was absolutely amazing. We got back to the hotel about four-ish and we just went to catch some sun. So it's about six now. So I thought I'd just talk through like today, what I thought of today, who our tour providers were, all of that kind of stuff. I'm out on the balcony and there's a lot of birds here. So it's, it's a lot of wildlife. So we booked an excursion for a cenote and swimming with turtles through our hotel, through like the tour stand in our hotel. The tour provider was Cobra Sunset Tour. It cost us about 125 pounds each for a full day excursion, which is fairly standard. It's kind of like what you're looking at paying for a full day. I absolutely loved it. Something about swimming in like wild, fresh water in the cenotes was just absolutely breathtaking. They weren't that cold. They were colder, no, they were warmer than the ocean. There was just like something so spiritual, for me anyway, about, there's something spiritual for me about like bodies of water anyway, let alone like naturally formed freshwater swimming. I've never done that before. I'm gonna butcher all the pronunciation, so I'm really sorry in advance, but we're in Costa Mujeres. Um, it took about two hours to drive to the snow tay. I can't remember where 
the cenote was, but I will input the name now. We had a private tour because there was four of us and the price was exactly the same for going on a private tour as a group. So I personally would really recommend if you're coming with friends or like your family, doing a private tour. It just made it so much more worth it and they were much more flexible about like how long you can stay at the cenotes. You can like pick and choose your timings essentially. So we spent an hour, just over an hour at the cenote. Our tour guide was Antonio. He was so nice and like so kind. Our driver was called Ross. We spent an hour at the cenotes. We got to swim. Um, we didn't need life jackets, but there were life jackets available if you wanted them. When we got there, so we had, we got to choose our pickup time. Our pickup time was eight o'clock and that's the benefit of a private tour as well. If you don't do the private tour and you go in the group, your pickup time from our hotel was 6 a.m. because obviously you have to go and pick up the other people in the minibus so you might spend a lot longer in the car than you would on a private tour and um, this was good as well because we were allowed to take our cameras in the water and take like waterproof cameras they say to bring a lot of insect repellent um, biodegradable sunscreen we just had regular but we just made sure to put it on before we got in the bus because last year we had some issues with you weren't allowed to apply sunscreen once you were like if you're getting on a boat for an excursion once you get there because in Mexico one thing we've noticed is they're very environmentally conscious and about like damage to the ocean and things like that so we applied all of our stuff before you still have to shower it off but at least it gives you a bit of a protective layer if you're someone that's very worried about the sun I would recommend getting like a swim shirt you know like a long sleeve one the cenote was fairly shaded and when we got there at like 10 10 30 it was just us for like 10 15 minutes um they said it's really good to go early because obviously the cenotes get really really busy with lots of tourists swimming around and more tourist groups did arrive once we got there but it was fine sharing with them it's easy to get pictures you can jump in as you've seen from my footage and then after that it was a 20 minute drive to turtles which was at the Akamal dive center so again benefits of a private tour we were like quite concerned about finding somewhere we could swim with turtles that was like as disruptive and like ethical to the turtles as possible. Sorry, there's a boat down there, it's really loud. We saw three turtles, which was just absolutely amazing. They were huge. Um, the tour guide was saying that a lot of the tours are like fairly unregulated and the bigger groups are not good to go on because they, they cause a lot of like stress to the turtles because it's one tour guide for like a group of 20 people. And because it's really shallow, you're not allowed to put your feet down and like stand in the water essentially because they planted loads of grass which is what the turtles feed on um, so you have to stay like floating horizontal with your snorkel um, and you're not allowed to like move once the turtles because they come up for air come up for air and you mustn't move you mustn't follow them you mustn't go too near them you can't swim over them we saw like one at a time and when we got to one, we found a really big one. He pulled us away because another big group started coming over and he was like, it's too much for the turtle. So I like to think our guide was very, very conscious of that. And he said it's quite bad because some tours you see like seven or eight when there's not a lot of people, but the more people there are, the less you see. So he said it's not good from the other companies that are like basically trying to get as much money and as much tourists in. The snorkeling was like 45 minutes to an hour. We saw three turtles and then he took us to a reef for a bit because there was loads to see over there. and there was too many peoples in the turtle area i would say if you're not a very strong swimmer they do ask but we didn't have fins or anything so we were like struggling to keep up with them because the, the instructor the tour provider had fins but yeah it was just amazing they're just like so gentle and graceful i just it's like such been such a good day i wanted to stay at the cenote forever and then we had lunch provided as well so maybe like a two minute drive from akamal dive center we went to this really nice tiny quiet restaurant that was kind of like off a side street it felt like a bit like a hidden gem and we did get to choose what we ate before um before the turtles which was really good on our last excursions last year i didn't eat a lot of the lunches i'm not picky but there just wasn't vegetarian options or fish options the restaurant was called la casa de pueblo the staff were like really friendly i think he might have been the owner came over and spoke to us we got like chips and salsa and then i had fish fajitas there was quite good options you could have fish fajitas like meat and rice tacos there was vegetarian options for everything and um, it wasn't a huge menu to choose from but it was just like very traditional authentic food and it was tasty and after swimming for like two hours that's exactly what you need the facilities at the dive center were pretty good there was room for showering and um, changing rooms that kind of thing they felt very clean we could have had 20 minutes on the beach but we opted out because the beach was really busy and it was really shallow and also like something about like sunbathing in the sand when you just want to like shower off and get back in the cab 
I just can't believe it's Friday and we're flying home on Monday night and the weather's been a bit hit and miss but we've managed to get a good turn in a couple of days. I've burnt my chest a bit, you can probably see. And it was good to be out on an excursion today because you just get the sun from swimming. Yesterday it was just like so, so beautiful. I can't get over it. My one slight criticism of the tour was probably that, and it's not the tour providers. I think it's an issue where the tour provider in the hotel like haven't quite met up with the expectations. It was advertised to us as two cenotes, so one inside and one outside. So like one that was more undercovered, like a proper cavern. And we only did one. Um, we didn't say anything because we just didn't bother, but it was kind of sold to us a bit differently from that. There was an option to go into Tulum as well, but we just didn't, we didn't fancy it. We just thought like, let's go from one place to the other, but they gave us that choice and that was like no extra cost. So if you did want to go into Tulum, that's a really good idea because the cenotes are really close to Tulum, maybe like, I want to say like half an hour. And they did overshoot on the time a bit because they told us we should be back at the hotel about two or three, but we actually didn't leave till about two or three. It was no big deal for us. It was no problem. If you've got plans for the day and you do go in a non-private excursion, I'd really make, recommend just factoring in like drop-off time and everything. Oh, it's just such a fabulous day. I just really like the snowtays. I think if we'd have gone earlier in the week, I would have wanted to go back to another one. Or if you stay in to learn, make sure you absolutely do visit them because we did come last year. Um, because the trip was like really, really far and it was our last day when we realised. You get water and stuff provided at the restaurant, but make sure you bring it and yeah, just bring loads of bug repellent. I've been bitten to shit, not in the cenote, but like just generally in the evenings. Um, and I haven't been wearing my bug repellent. Got bitten on the side of my head and like all over the backs of my legs, etc. So I've been having such a good time. It's fabulous. I'm gonna hop in the shower. I'm, I'm gonna be gross and I'm not gonna wash my hair because I have washed it like every day for the last like two, three days. So I'm just gonna slick it back tonight and then I'm gonna wash it tomorrow probably because I think I'm gonna go in the pool a bit more, go in the sea. My hair is definitely feeling a bit dry and a bit frazzled. So what a fabulous day. I'm having a Pepsi on the balcony. I thought I wouldn't have a beer because I've had a beer like every night. I will check in with you when I check in with you. Happy Friday. I'm trying to remember to take you for dinner tonight. I'm getting Japanese. This is what I'm wearing. I've got my Under the Storms top on. I actually definitely should have gone for an extra small, but oh well. I forgot to film any more Hello, we are having a beach day today. We've had a couple of beach days. There's a beach at a hotel, but I realised I haven't been very good at filming and taking you with me. Um, because I don't want a sandy camera, etc. But I'll take you with me today. Wearing my new favourite beach dress, which is like a linen Zara one that I got off Vinted. That is, it was five pounds. I've got all my stuff in my bag. Um, we're gonna try get a golf buggy if there's one free, cause it's like a 10, 15 minute walk. 10, 15, there's a lot of hills. Hi, yeah. it's a beautiful day today. It's very breezy. The beach is a lot more breezy than the pool, so it's just nice to go there. I love this dress. I wish I could wear it at home, but I feel like the people of the good people of Brighton might not like that. The weather's taking a turn. It's like 20 past three and this big 
wrong again. I don't know if you can actually hear me over the wind. We've been sitting in the sun very quickly. Doug and Simon have gone on a walk and they are, you can't even see them. I'll put a circle around them. They are walking so slowly back to us. Had an amazing day at the beach. It's about 4 p.m. My hair looks crazy. The sea was so warm today. It was quite choppy, but we swam in it. Like I, w I went back in like three or four times. Got some good sun and got some good reading time in. We went for late lunch because we've got a late dinner reservation tonight. So we went for lunch, what time? Like about half three. Obviously the weather took a turn, as you saw. It's been spitting and I think it's gonna be bad for the rest of the day. So we went via the spa to see how much the hydrotherapy sessions were and if they had any availability for this afternoon. But unfortunately they didn't. Sorry if you can hear background noise, dogs listening to a podcast in the shower. Um, the hydrotherapy was $85 for a hundred minutes. So we were kind of willing to pay that because I didn't go in the spa last year. And the weather was kind of bad, but they only had availability for tomorrow. And we didn't really want to risk it because what if the weather's really nice tomorrow and we have a hydrotherapy booking and they'd rather we give four hours notice for booking. So it felt a bit rude to like cancel last minute. So I've come back to the room. I've got a jet bath in the room anyway. So I'm going to have a bath. I'm going to take a long and leisurely time to get ready, wash my hair, because I haven't actually washed my hair in like two days. It's disgusting. I'm very salty, very sandy. I might do some editing or some reading. I'm just probably more likely going to be reading at this point. And we're going to meet at eight to play Uno because things got very feisty on Uno last night. So we're having a rematch tonight. And then our teppanyaki reservation is at nine. It's like a show cooking, you know, like where you all sit around the hot plate, kind of like Benihana in America. They like cook everything on the hot plate and you're sharing with other people kind of vibe. This beach hair is really, really something. Kept getting it wet and putting it up and then getting it wet, <laughs> wet again, basically since yesterday. Feeling really sad that it's our second to last full day. It's gone really quickly. I don't know, like I actually don't know where it's gone. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna crack on. I'll keep you updated with what I decide to do, read or edit. tidy because the room was really really messy there was just like wet clothes everywhere stuff from the beach oh shit i've left the sink running one second i was filling up the sink to wash my bikini in it and i left it running while i was tidying it's 6 17 we're meeting at 8 for dinner um like i said earlier sorry i'm a bit tired i think i'm gonna start like a slow get ready because i'd quite like to do some filming tonight of me getting ready, do a get dressed with me for TikTok. I'm watching some like, I'm watching E. I don't usually watch E. And there's some documentary about Meghan Markle and I feel a bit bad watching it. Cause it's not the usual thing I would like to watch, to be honest. There's a lot of talk of Lady Di and Meghan Markle and it's not my favorite. I think I'm gonna scrape my hair back tonight. I can't quite face curling it or letting it air dry in the heat again. Eyelash extensions have held up really well considering I've been in the sea, been in the pool, sun cream, sea sand, all that kind of thing. Let's go get ready now because I don't want to rush. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like a bit sicky. I'm wondering if it's because I had a late lunch and I drank, I didn't drink loads last night, but where I haven't been drinking, I think it just made me feel a little bit queasy when I woke up this morning. And then, and then stupidly, I drank like two, three coffees. And then, you know, you just have like some beers. I had a couple of drinks today and I think it's just a recipe for disaster. Oh, ow. I also think it's probably just something about overindulging, isn't it? Like I've eaten a lot of rich foods the last few days. Get these eyelashes scrubbed and squeaky clean. Just gonna use the Refi primer. I feel like I don't really need primer because I'm putting on makeup for like a couple of hours, if that. But I feel like it adds a really nice layer of hydration. So I need that because my skin's getting dry, obviously from the heat. I've got to pack 
the straw for this, so I'm drinking it out of this and it's making it really annoying. If you're coming away to an all-inclusive, my one recommendation would be to bring like a cold cup. We saw everyone doing it last year and we didn't really understand why. But the resort we're at is like an eco-friendly resort. We get water in our rooms, but they basically don't do bottles of water anywhere else. They'll give you a cup of water on the beach, like a plastic reusable cup, because that's the cups they use so they don't use fancy cocktail glasses unless you're like at one of the bars. But obviously it just gets warm so quickly, even with ice in it. And these hold ice in them all day. So it was honestly the smartest move. We told Ella and Simon to get one as well. And it's just been such a godsend. Otherwise you're just sat on the beach or around the pool with like lukewarm, tepid plastic water bottles. It's our last day tomorrow. And I'm just really hoping the weather is good. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a little bit hit and miss. So we had one day where it was really, really stormy. And then it's been like, either sunny in the morning and then cloudy and a bit drizzly in the afternoon or just like intermittently like cloud sun cloud sun but that's fine because we still managed to get some really good sun time in it's just been a bit changeable every day like it keeps changing the weather forecast as well so it's hard to tell at the moment it says it's cloudy tomorrow but it said that today and it was like blazing sunshine all day I haven't worn a lot of the outfits I brought with me. Um, I feel like that's quite typical of a holiday now, but, but I wore two of my daytime outfits to dinner because of the bad weather and because I was feeling like a mixture of sleepy, sluggish, had too much to drink. So I wore two of my daytime outfits, which is fine. And I forgot that a lot of my outfits are very, very tight. I didn't bring anything really, apart from what I'm wearing tonight, like smocky or loose. And last year, I felt like I really nailed my wardrobe, but this year, I don't know, I just really struggled to decide what to wear. And because a lot of my options are tight, and I weighed like a little bit less last year, so they were quite snug when I tried them on. And then I just kind of forgot and like didn't anticipate that I'd be eating a lot and feeling very like bloated and wouldn't want tight stuff. So a lot of my day clothes are incredibly casual, but I barely, I didn't bring any day dresses apart from that red linen-y one. And I've worn that twice now and it's a bit like chlorine-y, salty. I didn't bring any trousers, which I really regret given that it's rained because I just kind of forgot that that might be a possibility. So I got quite soaked in a lot of my outfits. And now a lot of my clothes are very like beach day. It's fine. It's just like a slight oversight on my part. I just should have bought like one pair of nice trousers or something. But I think when I saw that my luggage was overweight, I just panicked. So like I took out my comfy pair of denim shorts. I took out like a lot of t-shirts and a lot of day dresses that I thought I wouldn't wear. I have one smocky dress to be fair that I haven't worn. I'm going off that dress a bit anyway. It's not a huge deal to be honest because everyone always leaves holiday and having not worn some stuff. But I was just a little bit annoyed. I just didn't think about that. But I hadn't been on holiday in a year. So I was just excited and just packed a load of stuff. But I thought I'd feel hot and sexy in. Sometimes you don't want to be hot and sexy. Sometimes you just want to be like comfy, cozy, sun, beach, beer belly. This is the dress. Ignore the fact that I have spot stickers on my chest because the sun cream has made my chest super spotty. All my dresses are like nice chest dresses. Dad actually just got in from the gym and I gave him three options and it was hair down, slip back bun, he made a very valid point, it's very windy outside, or just like a little messy, you know, with my little face foam in pieces, and just like a little... So I'm gonna do that. Anyway, I'll come back and show you the finished outfit with everything once I'm done, because I'm just gonna rest a little bit. I'm ready, I did my get ready with me. I'll show you what I'm wearing. I have to hold the light up. I'm gonna have to show you the whole outfit. I feel like it looks a little bit underwhelming on, but it's really nice. I'm just not so keen on my hair like this, but that's fine. Really nice, really simple, nice and loose. I can eat a lot of dinner. I said I was gonna try, remember, to film dinner last night and I didn't remember to do a single course of it. So I will try, remember to take you with me tonight. We've been getting a photo in this lift every day for the whole holiday to get an outfit pick.
Good morning. It is sadly the last day of our holiday. I'm feeling grumpy about it. I'm feeling very grumpy about it. And the weather's not great, but that's okay. It's kind of cloudy. It's kind of windy. It's sporadically sunshiny, but not enough to go lie by the pool or anything because the wind is so high. It's feeling a bit cooler today, maybe like 24 degrees. I've got a yummy little white chocolate frappe. Plans for the last day. But funnily enough, what's the time? I don't know where my phone is. It's like 11.45. Me and Ella were looking at going to the spa, like all holiday, yeah? But the prices seemed a bit ridiculous. We're looking at the menu, the spa here is called Zentropia Wellness something center. We thought it can't be right because a couple's massage is literally like 600 pounds or $600, which seems expensive. And I was saying that I don't know how much beauty treatments are in the US and Canada, but they seem like they would be really expensive. So maybe the prices reflect that because obviously there's a lot of American and Canadian clients that come stay at the hotel. Pedicure was like 100 US dollars, like a 50 minute massage was still like $199. And we just thought that was really expensive. So yesterday we went and asked if they would do us any deals or if there was any offers on and to ask about how much the hydrotherapy is. So the hydrotherapy is like you get access to the infinity pool. They've got a plunge pool, a steam room, a sauna, that kind of thing. You'd get like an hour of that. And they told us that 100 minutes of hydrotherapy was $85, which we kind of thought wasn't too bad. And we just thought, you know, if there's another cloudy day, maybe let's look at doing that. So we actually wanted to go yesterday afternoon um, when it started raining, but they had no space left, obviously. So we thought about today. And this morning we woke up, we saw it was cloudy and we thought, that's okay, we'll just like hang out all day. Ella got a text for a deal that is 80 minutes massage and facial, like express facial, and then 200 minutes of hydrotherapy. And it was $130, which is way cheaper. And we were kind of resentful about paying like $85 for 100 minutes of hydrotherapy. So we messaged for a reservation. We asked to change the facial to just an 80 minute massage, which neither of us have ever had before. I've only ever had an hour long massage. They said yes. And then they said they had a slot at 12.30 and then our hydrotherapy would be at 2.30. So that is what we're doing today, which is really exciting. I'll take my camera along for a bit. Um, we've just come back to the room to get changed because I've not got a bikini on and maybe do a bit of packing, but who knows. But yeah, really looking forward to that. I just kind of like hesitant to spend the money, but it's a really nice treat and it's the last day of holiday and I've still got loads of cash left over. So why not? This is what I'm gonna wear to walk down to the spa. I'm gonna button up my shirt. These are actually pajama shorts, but I think they look really cute and I haven't worn them as pajama shorts yet. So it's the evening, um, I kind of forgot to check in after that. The massage was absolutely amazing. The massage was done by somebody called Natalia who was so very sweet and kind. And it was 80 minutes and I managed to not fall asleep. I don't like falling asleep during massages because it feels, it feels like a waste of money. <laughs> I get really annoyed that I don't remember any of it. So we did the hydrotherapy first. Um, so they have like a hydrotherapy circuit that is like cold plunge, hot plunge, well, jacuzzi, but like a really, really hot one. Steam room, salt room, something called the snow room, which is cold. And you're kind of like guided through all of that and how long to do it and what the best order is. So you're guided through and you're told like how long to spend 
in each section, which to be honest, I wasn't really expecting. I thought you'd just kind of get free reign. But the whole thing took about like 40 minutes, half an hour. I did everything, including the cold plunge, which is really nice. It made me want to get one of those ice things for my home. And you get about half an hour. They've got a big like infinity pool, an indoor, like semi-indoor pool. It's got like a little bubble bath thing in it that you lie down on and jets. And you can, there's basically got loads of different areas of the pool. They've got targeted streams of water that you can do for your shoulders. They've got underwater jets that are really low down so you can do your feet that kind of thing i think it was definitely worth upgrading because while the hydrotherapy was really good i would have been a bit miffed if i'd have paid like 85 us dollars for it i think it's just because i know i can go to a steam room on my class pass and it's like three credits and after that we got taken upstairs for a massage we did go separately and there was like a little relaxation room that you go in before your massage and then I had 80 minutes, I opted for a relaxation massage, not deep tissue. And to be honest, that was enough. Like I like quite a firm pressure and I've got something kind of like semi wrong with my back at the moment. So I asked her to focus on that. So she spent a really long time on my back and shoulders, but she also did both my arms, both my legs, like full length of my legs, um, my feet, my hands, and my neck and head, which was just absolutely heavenly. I felt like drunk afterwards. She was really sweet. We had a little chat for like the first five minutes. Just about my tattoos and like where I'm from, that kind of thing. We got some lunch. It's been a little bit cloudy today. So we got our last little buffet lunch. We did have Indian booked for this evening, but we've rescheduled it. Well, we're not rescheduled, we cancelled. Um, opted for the buffet. Everyone was really keen on Indian food on before like an 11 hour flight. So we just decided to get a buffet, but that's fine to be honest, because it means we can just go late. Um, and we had a late lunch and then we had like second lunch. Um, we played some Uno in the sports bar. I mean, there was NFL on, so it was really busy and the weather's not great. So that's why it was really busy as well. It was really fun. I think we're gonna play some more Uno tonight. The boys are very competitive because they're both Gemini's. We're meeting at nine. Um, I think we've got about half an hour. So I just thought I'd get ready. And we came back to the room, maybe like six-ish. So I just showered, unpacked. I'm like absolutely gutted. It's the last night and I can't believe it. I feel like it's gone so quickly. I think it's feel, it feels like we've lost a few days due to just like inclement weather, but that's fine because I still got a really good tan. I've just been packing. I hate packing. It's like the worst job in the world. Doug is just packing now in the background. Our checkout time is 12 tomorrow, which is fine because we're getting picked up at like one-ish. Then loads of like weather warnings and wind warnings for the UK. Uh, and loads of flights have been grounded and like not happening. So we're a little bit concerned that might happen to us. But it should be fine and um, it should pass. The warning does last well into Tuesday, Wednesday, I think. We fly at 4 p.m. Like Mexican time. We fly all through the night. So we arrive in the UK at like 6, 7 a.m. on Tuesday morning. So I am just gonna try sleep and edit. I've decided to wear my brown Opoly dress tonight. I don't know if anyone can see it. It's floor length. I'm going to wear my green flip flops with it. I feel like I should wear it with my god sandals, but honestly, I wouldn't wear my flip flops. I feel super, super bloated after a week of eating all inclusive, and it's fine because that's just what holiday is all about. But you know, when you just. I feel so full. Might be a light dinner for me tonight. I didn't film any packing because I just thought it's quite boring because you saw me all on the way. Show cooking was really really fun last night at Tepanyaki. It was really nice. The people on our table were fairly nice. We didn't chat that much with them. There was like maybe 10 people at our table. The chef did an amazing job. I just I think it's so wild how you can do all of that stuff and like hold an audience you know. I really am vibing with a nudish lip at the moment rather than like my Clinique. I don't know if it's because I think my Clinique is really wintry and it's not very wintry here. I hope you've enjoyed spending the last 10 days with me. I have no idea what this is going to be like, to be honest, because I've just filmed a bunch of stuff and I haven't started editing yet, so I guess you'll see when you see. It's my first time ever vlogging a holiday, so that's been quite a new experience for me. I'm not going to take you to dinner tonight, because I'm just going to enjoy my last night, and I just don't want to have to remember to film. I feel like it's nothing you won't have seen before, so yeah, I will check in with you when I'm back. I'm finishing packing, and I'm sure I'll check in with you in the morning anyway. We're going home. We've just been packing up. We had a last breakfast. Sorry, I'm just throwing stuff around. We had last breakfast, which was really nice. Just weighed my case and I came in 0.7 of a kilo over the weight, but I think that's because I'm taking less in my hand luggage, like toiletries. And I bought a massive bottle of chamoy, but I just redistributed a bit. 
and yeah it's fine now so that's really good we're just packing up the room Doug's just strapping up my case for me um, I'm just gonna get some cash out for housekeeping and they've just come to collect our cases so I'm gonna go I just wanted to fill you in off we go in my lovely hotel room. Oh my god. I've literally just woken up and it's 20 past 5. I woke up at around 5. Doug made us some toast in bed. The flight was okay. It was three or four hours, three hours shorter because of a really strong tailwind and it's always like shorter coming back. It's something to do with the curvature of the earth. So it was eight hours, which was actually really pleasant. We touched down in the UK at 7 a.m. It was obviously pissing with rain. We got a cab home, which took ages. I got really travel sick. And then I literally just came upstairs. I haven't even like opened my suitcase or got my charges out. Got in the shower and then put my dressing gown on and fell asleep for like most of the day absolutely guaranteed now that i'm not gonna sleep um all night it feels quite good to be home just like back in my own bed but i've got like a bit of the holiday blues because the weather's so bad and i've got no food in and i hate unpacking but it's fine it's fine i'm gonna be okay <sighs> i really hope you've enjoyed my vlogs i hope they are produced well i don't know i haven't started editing them yet <laughs> well i did do some editing on the plane I hope you've enjoyed my first vlogged holiday. I hope it was entertaining for you. I'm going to log off for the day, the evening, and try to get my stuff sorted out. I will pop links to all my socials below. You can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on TikTok. I still have, like, posts to do, etc. Thank you so much for watching if you stuck around this far because these are all really long and I appreciate you so much. Have a lovely rest of your week.